Welcome to Foundation Friday. The dedication and covenant of silent unity was signed on December 7, 1892 by Charles and Myrtle Film, founders of the Unity Movement. It was unlikely when they signed this covenant that they had any idea how far-reaching unity would be as it evolved into the church we know and love today. We invite you to join us as we explore and share some of the original ideas, teachings, and writings of the men and women who created the foundation of the Unity Church. Hi, thank you for joining us today for Foundation Friday. Today, we are going to take a look at a book by Frank B. Whitney. It was kind of interesting how this book came into my hands, actually. It's called Beginning Again. And I, I picked it up at a book sale. I saw it was a Unity book I didn't have, and I grabbed it up. Beginning Again by Frank B. Whitney. Now, I knew I knew the name Frank B. Whitney, so I looked him up. And he is actually the author of the hymn, I Behold the Christ in You. And we've sang that several times at Unity El Cajon. You may know it. He is also well known as the founder of the Daily Word. He believed everyone should start the day with affirmations and positivity. And that was the idea behind the Unity magazine, The Daily Word. So that's kind of the story. I'm going to share a little bit from this book for you. The first thing that really struck me was the dedication. This book is dedicated to you. Who would emerge out of an old world into a new? Who would catch a new vision and thereby find inspiration, hope, and courage? Who will accept peace, health, and plenty? Let it be you. Isn't that beautiful? So the foreword in here is written by Ernest Wilson, and the foreword was written in 1938 in Kansas City, Missouri. And what this book is, beginning again, is actually seven lessons telling you how to shift from the world as you see it today to the world as seen through the eyes of spirit, your highest self. And lesson one is the desire of all men. Lesson two is the approach to life, understanding God. So we're moving from desire to divinity. Lesson three, prayer without mystery all about affirmative prayer and adjusting yourself to accept the answers. Lesson four, governed solely by the law of God. Finally, in lesson five, we get to a new beginning in health. Lesson six is making a new start in personal finances. Lesson seven, is trying anew to solve the personal equation. So lesson seven is almost a, a, a return to lesson one, the desire of all men. And I am going to read just a little bit from lesson one, the desire of all men. It'll give you a feel for the book. Beginning again. It matters not what may befall. Beyond all else, I hear the call. You can begin again. My courage rises when I hear God's voice allay the thought of fear. And when he whispers gently near, you can begin again. When once quite all the world seemed wrong, 
Throughout its den, I heard his song. You can begin again. An inner joy within me stirred. I treasured each assuring word. My heart was lifted when I heard. You can begin again. Begin again, another chance. Can I even make an advance? You can begin again. Begin at once by taking heart and knowing God. Of you, he's part. New life to you, he will impart. You can begin again. Promises and Inspirations from the Book of Books Behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things shall not be remembered. I, Isaiah 65, 17 they received the word and with all readiness of mind. Acts 17, 11. Be ye transformed by renewing of your mind. Romans 12, 2. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things are passed away. Behold, they become anew. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. We serve in newness of spirit and not in oldness of the letter. Romans 7, 6. The desires of all men. There is one desire that all men have in common. The desire to be able to take a new hold on life. This desire is most keenly felt after the individual has made mistakes. After he has experienced some shock of failure after he has been thwarted in his efforts to progress. About him, he often sees the season of spring come to present, th present the old world to itself in a new guise. He sees bud and flower revealing a new world to his gaze. He too wants to begin again. So that's a taste of the book and a look at the lessons on how to begin again. Thank you for joining us for Foundation Friday. We hope you'll tune in again for something completely different. Namaste. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos, and leave comments, which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.